Little Miss Virgo. Oh, Mr. Virgo. Mind you, I've got to get something off my chest, you know. Virgos. Why? I think at times, yeah, we definitely put too much effort or time. Like, we give too much when it comes to our love connections. And most of us are here for love, right? Fact. That's what my algorithms tell me. Most of us are women. In fact, 75, at least 75% all the time. Sometimes even up to 80 of my viewers are women. And I can't talk for every woman. Can't talk for every Virgo woman. Woman. But I'm um, talking for a lot of you guys. A lot of us... <laughs> A lot of us don't love ourselves enough and that's just a fact in my opinion you know we attract these connections into our life and usually we attract them when we're in a good space right when we're in that place where we don't give a shit about what others think of us we're in a good place we're oozing confidence our energy is great so we're gonna attract that energy and in the minute we get with somebody, everything's fine and all dandy, and then it kind of turns into, you start questioning yourself, are you good enough, are you not good enough, why do we do it? I think we've got a lot of traumas, a lot of childhood stuff that has still been unresolved, you know, and we just need to keep in that headspace. No, no woman on planet Earth should be chasing any man, forcing attention, TLC, um, love, whatever it is that you, you doesn't, no, we don't do that, okay, and, I, and a lot of men actually get put off when a woman is very, I don't know, domineering or, you know, <clears throat> setting the pace, <sighs> and then we fall for somebody and it's just like, really, <laughs> There's a lot that I want to say, but I suppose it's still kind of um, somewhere in the background. Like before I did this reading, I was like, listen, I need to be talking to my Virgo women because we settle for far less. And that's usually because we think far less of ourselves. OK, quite frankly. Um, so what I need you to do is promise yourself like I'm promising myself and sticking to this promise. OK, because remember, when you're in that good energy, when you've got back to taking care of yourself enjoying life forgetting about the the, the shoulda woulda couldas who in your life you're not with and the rest of it we attract but the promise i want you to make to yourself virgo is you're going to continue to heal you're going to do your best and continue to be kind to yourself yeah i always say be kind to others but listen the card the kindness starts with you it all starts with you okay you need to be right so promise me, promise yourself that you're just going to, at least from here on now, do your very best to put yourself first. Be, we're always selfless, start to be a little bit more selfish. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Believe you deserve happiness. So, <clears throat> hopefully, I, I do have more stuff to get off my chest. Hopefully it comes into my mind. Um, who is thinking about Virgo who's thinking about Virgo Virgo love reading maybe a very stubborn person maybe a Leo for some of you guys maybe someone that's needing to be patient for whatever reason we have the two of cups here it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's thinking about Virgo seven of cups so this confusion here could be who you're thinking about but there's something here and it keeps coming up to do with patience courage bravery i think there's multiple people thinking about you virgo i feel like this person finds you to be very kind very caring somebody that they can relate to somebody that they can see themselves in but um there is some sort of confusion here we will clarify that okay who wants virgo who is it that currently wants Virgo? Someone from the past? Could be a Scorpio. Someone perhaps that you've moved on from, let go of. Distance is now between you. Who wants Virgo? Who is it that wants Virgo? 
who currently wants Virgo. So whoever it is that wants you, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Virgo. I feel like um, with your card coming up here, especially being in the center of the reading, somebody wants you, somebody loves you, somebody's thinking about you. This Ace of Swords can be, I could be talking about somebody that's quite successful, quite blunt. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Something here to do with clarity. Whoever it is that wants you. It could be very intelligent. Maybe you've known each other from a past life. Who truly loves Virgo? We're going to clarify some of these cards as well. Who truly loves Virgo? Ace of Wands. Somebody's flame still burns for you. Who? It could be a Leo. It could be someone. Whoever it is that loves you. Conversations are good. Communication's good. Um, at times... With the four of cups there this person could perhaps be maybe a bit of a i don't want to say negative nancy but at times they can be very like um get under your skin i feel like this person maybe you've disconnected from them okay maybe you've tried to uplift this person i think that's what you do what i get here whoever it is that truly loves you you're the type of person Virgo. i feel that kind of really brings them out of their sadness and their stroppy behavior okay we're gonna see what's coming towards you in love at the end of the reading okay so can we clarify the seven of cups with regards to the person thinking about Virgo? two of cups um the devil card who is it that's thinking about Virgo? why is the seven of cups here the high priestess we have capricorn energy but uh, capricorn energy pisces cancer also scorpio okay i'm feeling a vibe of virgo you feeling confused okay because i feel like a lot of you guys are tired in between your listening to your intuition your gut feeling and not listening to perhaps maybe that devil in your ear because i feel like temptation is all around you virgo and i think spirits the universe is asking you to stick to your spirituality stick to your intuition okay you know you know deep down in the core of you what's good for you what's not good for you okay what's toxic what's bringing you down what's uplifting you tap into your spirituality Virgo, with regards to the choices that you make around love okay let's talk about this ace of swords with regards to the person that wants Virgo six of cups remember i said the death card being someone from the past <clears throat> this is somebody from the past okay they could be coming in thick and strong this is somebody that still hasn't completely let you go and they want to cooperate they want to have a conversation there's a conversation coming up for some of you guys someone's got something they want to get off their chest mm -hmm. and it's somebody that you already know this could be somebody that regrets, regrets walking away, abandoning you, behaving a certain way, saying a certain thing. And they're coming to express that. With regards to who's it truly loves Virgo, why is the Four of Cups here? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting on your A game. There's somebody here that is more committed to work than they are to their emotions, more committed to their goals than they are their emotions. And actually, maybe this person's realizing. They're realizing that maybe they're jeopardizing something here. There's somebody here more interested in their money making than with regards to anything emotional. Maybe you're realizing that. Maybe you're realizing something here is non committal. Because I see physical attraction here, I see communication, but I see someone here realizing something. What is coming towards Virgos in love? What is coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? Three of Cups, Two of Wands. What's coming towards Virgos in love? So I see some of you guys getting out here. Well, there's going to be something to celebrate with, with the people that you care about. The people that you love. Okay? 
I see some sort of planning here, planning for the future, planning to travel, reach out to somebody here with regards to what's coming towards you and love. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to share some good news with you. There's a soul contract here with regards to love. And I see things after a, a period of maybe stagnant energy movement coming in here. Maybe you felt it was time to give up, okay? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands talks about good news, remember that. And I feel like your shoulders are going to be starting to feel less tense, less heavy. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You've got unexpected stuff coming forward. Page of Pentacles, an opportunity here. There's some sort of good news coming your way, guys. And I really feel like um, for some of you guys that there's going to be a shift. This is about letting go. You're going to be starting to letting go of someone else's expectations of you. This is you standing up for yourself, standing up for what it is that you believe in. You know, a lot of you guys are going to get this uh, shift of energy and it's going to be good for you. There's something here about equality, you know, standing up for, for yourself with regards to equality. I don't know where that's stemming from, okay? That page of pentacles is all about new opportunities coming your way, good news, new connections, making your plans a reality. So, yeah, I would say get down to business, Virgo. I love you guys, all right? You know, I say everything from a good place. I want you guys to have... Uh, a very great productive week ahead please get in touch if you'd like to book me for a personal reading um follow me on the socials catch me for life tarot it's our love darling from one virgo to another be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and a gift will catch you on the rebound Mwah.